Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for August 6th through the 12th. Welcome for those of you who are new to this channel. It is a new channel, haven't been around that long on YouTube. I do a weekly giveaway for those of you who don't know. This week I need your help though. I'm not sure if I want to give away a couple of my older decks because some people are sentimental and they like the idea of inheriting or being gifted a deck from a reader. Both these decks have all of the cards in them. They work just fine. I just do a ton of readings and I shuffle like a Vegas card dealer. So they, they get a little beat up. And since I uh, take pictures of the cards and I put them on Amethyst Angelite, Facebook and Instagram for the card of the day and the choose the cards. And now I'm using them on the videos. Uh, they need to be in good shape. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and, just, you know, circulate those out of my rotation so i'm either going to give away a couple of decks or i'm going to give away a free 15 minute reading a private personal reading so go ahead and comment on the video let me know what you want a chance to win and then monday on amethyst angelite facebook and instagram i will announce the giveaway i'll also announce the winner of last week's giveaway which was the necklace that i had on here all right, Leo, we're going to jump right on in. I'm asking for a card for Monday, Tuesday for you all. There is your Monday, Tuesday. I'm asking for a card for Wednesday, Thursday. There is your Wednesday, Thursday. And I'm asking for a card for your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There is your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And of course, love. Love, love, love. What is going on with love? Two, three, four, I'm getting five, they want me to do five, there's five. Okay, my dears, what is your love card for Leo for the week? And there is your love card. We will check it out in just a second. Sorry, excuse the princess tattoos. I was at a birthday party earlier. <laughs> My inner five-year-old on going on here. So here's your card for the beginning of the week. This is going to be for Monday, Tuesday. So anytime we have uh, the three of fire come up, we have two of three of fire, three of wands. In some decks, it's called three of fire. Wands are fire energy. And it's funny, we're doing a Leo reading and you guys are a fire sign. And your first card is a fire energy. Anytime the wands cards come up, it has to do with effort. It has to do with like, you know, putting in that passion, putting in that work, putting in that energy. So it's also a card about taking action and not sitting on something for too long. With three of wands, it is a card about making plans for the future where you're putting forth work and you're putting forth effort, but you might not see the benefit right away or you might not see the result right away. So there could be a little bit of impatience. Like I'm working, I'm working my butt off, I'm doing what I need to do, I'm putting in that you know dedication, uh, but things aren't exactly how I want them. It's kind of too, it could be frustrating. This card sometimes can come up at a time where things were really slow for a really long time. And then they really started to finally move ahead. And now you're excited because they're moving ahead. But it's you might feel like it's a game of hurry up and wait. Where it's like, okay, I was happy with the progress, but I want to keep moving forward. And now I feel like it's not moving for forward as quickly. And so in my experience, I feel that with three of wands, you just do the work and then you got to give it the time to do what it needs to do. Like if you were making a cake, you can put your, you know, flour and sugar and, you know, whatever flavors you want and the eggs in the bowl and mix it up and put it in the in the pan and put it in the oven. But you can't get all upset if two minutes go by and you don't have a cake yet. It's going to take time. There's nothing you can do to change that time right? If you try to rush it, if you try to turn the oven up all the way, 
you're probably going to burn the outside and have a raw icky cake on the inside. So this is one of those things where you do the work and you got to let the time go by. You got to let the, the other processes that are out of your control happen. So it's important to practice patience at this time. Do the work and you know what you need to wait on, you need to wait on, but it, it'll be here. It'll be here. It's coming. So Leo, your card for the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, you have Prince of Pentacles, which is so funny because we were just talking about patience here. And Prince of Pentacles is a card that has to do with money, right? So typically anytime we get a Pentacle card, it's career, it's finance, it's physical money. And the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles in some tarot decks is successful. He's making progress. Uh, but, you know, usually because it's a night, it's a, it's a newer venture, it's a newer beginning. It's maybe some, you know, fledgling step or project or a new job or a new career that you've embarked on. And there's progress, but Prince of Pentacles, it's a slower moving energy. It's methodical. It's very planned out. It's very logical. So the growth doesn't happen overnight. It, it It's steady growth but it's slow growth. But the good thing about that is if you have the slow growth, it's going to be longer lasting, like planting a tree, you know? It's not like planting flowers that can easily be stomped on or easily be, you know, plucked out by whoever's passing by. A tree is a little more sturdier, and some trees live very, very long time. So even though it's slower growth, it's longevity. It's longevity, and it's going to be favorable for your future. For some of you, um, you might be the wands. You're the fast energy. And you might be working for somebody who's the prince of pentacles. And, you know, they're a little bit slower and a little bit planning. And okay, before we do this, we got to do that. And before we do that, we got to do this. And you're like, hurry up and let's just do this thing. So, you're going to have to be patient. Just know that whatever is happening, whatever decisions are being made, it will be favorable for you as long as you keep putting in the work that you're putting in. But it's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be fast, boom, boom, boom progress. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Leo, we have King of Swords. So um, I'm giggling here because I'm seeing the cards come together and make a story for me. Uh, King of Swords. When King of Swords comes up, we need to be a little careful. Uh, swords have to do with thought, the, the suit of thought. Um, air, oh, um, air. Air is associated with thought. And so this could also be for some of you, you're dealing with an air sign, right? This could be somebody who is an air sign. Um, and for some of you, it could just be these characteristics within yourself that you got to look out for. So either you're dealing with somebody who is the King of Swords or you're acting like the King of Swords. King of Swords isn't a bad guy. Like he wants what's best for everyone. And he wants obviously what's best for him and for his family and for his loved ones. But he can be a little aggressive at times and he could be quick to argue at times. So um, even though you might be in a situation where you feel frustrated, you want to hurry up and go, 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 go. And somebody maybe is going a little bit slower and you may want to stand up and take your stand and say, look, buddy. Like, this isn't my first rodeo, and I've done this before. And for some of you, maybe it's not even about work. Maybe it's about a relationship, and you feel like somebody's dragging their feet and taking their sweet time and making a commitment or, or getting engaged or having kids or buying a house or whatever it is. You might feel like somebody's dragging their feet, and you may be very tempted to just kind of, like, set them straight, but you want to be careful. You want to be careful. I, to me, this is just more kind of like keep thinking keep planning it, it's good that you're in that energy it's good that you're in a take charge energy and you're wanting to take control of the situation just be careful about how you're doing it right because if you're coming in too aggressive it's going to have the opposite effect it's not going to go the way that you're wanting it to go so just be balanced and be aware of that as as you're moving forward in the situation right so, like, if it was a relationship, you know, and if you were like, 
what the heck are you gonna you know marry me or not i'm tired of waiting this is ridiculous you need to hurry up and make your mind up that might make the person feel like wow this person is really pushing me and i don't know what i want to do now or if it's a work situation you know if you're like you know i've been here for however long or you know like you need to you do this or i'm leaving if you don't do this i'm gonna quit right if, if it's the prince of pentacles and they're not ready and they're in the slower process they're gonna say well hey i would hate to see you go but circumstances being what they are right now we're not ready to move you up and so you got to do what you got to do and i'm not going to stand in your way from doing what you need to do for your situation uh so again like it can backfire i would say really avoid ultimatums this week uh and just be patient be patient get give things time because they're growing they're moving forward your love card is chemistry leo so um when this card comes up uh i feel it can mean different things when it comes up for married people especially people who've been married for a while um i feel like sometimes what's happening is the person is asking about the relationship because they've met somebody else that they have this really intense connection with and they feel like wow like this must be my soulmate because i just feel like this is the person for me or i can't get this person out of my head and and they feel like maybe like they're supposed to leave the marriage or like is this really their soulmate would this be the one like you know hall pass from the universe to where they can cheat and i would say you know you're free to make your own decisions but i would never ever recommend cheating ever 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 that's not my energy that's not my style uh but to me when this card comes up chemistry you're dealing with a karmic soulmate okay so whether you're single and there's somebody you can't get out of your head or you are thinking about an ex that you can't get out of your head uh, any type of energy where there's just this person and for some of you maybe it hasn't happened yet and this card is saying it's gonna happen so be ready for it that intense connection where you're thinking about the person a lot or you feel like magnetically drawn to them in my experience my relationship with this card has been that this is a karmic soulmate so this is someone that maybe you've had some really intense past lives with it could be someone that you're supposed to learn a life lesson with or have an experience with um or somebody who's coming in to hold space for you or somebody who is coming in to push your buttons and break your heart in a way where when you heal you're coming back stronger and you're learning a lesson and you're setting boundaries for yourself and you're breaking like a negative relationship cycle but in my experience this card basically is saying in a very nice way there's a strong connection here with this person and it, it good chances it's very very mutual but this is not your forever person okay this is not your forever person so if you're happily in a relationship and you know you you don't know what this is saying or what this card is about it may just be letting you know that there may be somebody coming into your life soon and remind yourself of the lesson that com message that comes with this card uh you know if you're having a hard time getting over a, a, a next this is you know remind yourself that this person came in to prepare you for a bigger relationship and they're not the forever person again guys this is gonna be this is a general reading right it's not gonna hit 100 percent for every single one of you you know some weeks i have 100 people watch a video some weeks i have you know twelve thousand or more watch a video and it's impossible that for every single one of those viewers we're gonna have 100 percent you know 100 percent matchup of what's going on with the energy so check your other signs check the other videos for your your star sign sun sign moon sign ascended sign rising sign all that good stuff because some weeks that's going to resonate more it's going to give you more layers to your reading check out the choose your own reading i already have a few of those already up there on the channel you pick a deck and you get a reading based on whatever your energy was drawn to that resonates more for some people i'm doing another one of the choose your own readings in a couple of days subscribe to the channel hit the notification little picture of the bell and you'll get a notice when that is ready for you to check out or you may need a private reading guys do check out the private reading list below reach out and let me know if you want a private reading 
I am also, as of this week, offering a membership for readings where you get a discounted price through uh, signing up through Patreon. And um, let me know. I mean, let me know if you're interested in a private reading. Reach out to me. Let me know how you feel about this week's giveaway. My friends, comment and let me know. Do you want the decks as the giveaway? Do you want a private 15-minute personal reading as the giveaway? And then check out Amethyst Angelite for a free card every single day. Facebook and Instagram, card of the day. Pick a card each day and the weekly giveaways. All right, Leo, till next week.